Well, who doesn't want to look better, feel better? And the way to do that might start with the food on your table. Here's CT Style reporter Megan Yost with more. You've probably heard about eating clean, ditching processed food, and only choosing the freshest, healthiest options. Well, research shows it's more than just a passing fad. It's the foundation for a long and healthy life. That's why I recently got a few tips to help you on your next visit to the grocery store. We know eating clean and healthy food is good for our bodies, but sometimes it can make a simple trip to the grocery store overwhelming. That's where Karen Sullivan comes in. The two-time breast cancer survivor and wellness blogger is an advocate for eating simple, wholesome foods. The food you eat is like Hippocrates said, it's like medicine. And so there are these studies that are claiming that the cleaner we eat, the better it will be for disease prevention. She has a few helpful tips to make going to the grocery store a little easier. Tip one, shop the produce section first and think about easy ways to add fruits and veggies into your typical meals. You can also sneak in some vegetables as a part of a mashed potato dish or as a part of a smoothie and that way you're not thinking so much, oh what am I losing and having to give up. I'm thinking about what can I add to my life so that I start actually liking the taste of fruits and vegetables. When it comes to produce, Karen says there are some fruits and vegetables you should always buy organic, like apples, strawberries, and celery. On the other hand, if you're more of a budget, it's okay to have pineapple, asparagus, cauliflower, avocados. Here's another tip to keep in mind when you're shopping. Check the PLU number located right here on the sticker. If it starts with a nine, well, that means it's organic. If it starts with an eight, that means it's been genetically modified. And if it has only four digits, well, that means it's been traditionally grown and likely with chemical pesticides. When in doubt, I would say always go organic. When it comes to eating clean, Karen says seek out high-tech help, like the Environmental Working Group's Food Scores app. It will scan and grade foods based on their ingredients and nutrition. So here I grabbed the Kashi Snack. It's a brand that I know and I believe is good. And in this case, I got rated a B. Here's another tip. When you're trying to eat healthier, it isn't just about what you eat, it's also about the packaging of the food. For example, when it comes to soup, look for those in BPA-free cans. Another option are finding soups in boxes. Or glass containers are another clean alternative. Finally, when it comes to meat and dairy, Karen says go organic. Or if you don't have organic, try and get products with no added hormones in it. And remember, if you're just starting out on a clean eating journey, a little goes a long way. I really suggest taking small steps. If somebody takes one or two of these tips, then that's great. They're working towards better well-being. Better well-being for a better life. Here's another tip for eating clean. Look for foods with a short ingredient list. The shorter the list, the less likely the food is highly processed. Marisol, back to you.